Now at 6, with the price of eggs still on the rise, people within Odessa city limits are trying to get city council members to push for change and allow Odessans to own their own chickens in their backyard. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Madeline Bierster. And I'm Carson Bush. Joe's ABC Big 2's Rachel Holland joins us now live outside Odessa City Hall. And Rachel, council members have already discussed this. City Council Member Mark Mata says that next Tuesday, the 14th, the ordinance will be a part of the City Council meeting's agenda. He posted on Facebook on Friday asking Odessans how they felt about this conversation being started within the council. And he says to his surprise, almost everybody was on board. The desire to have chickens seems to really be catching on, and I'm really, really encouraged by that. As egg prices continue to rise, Odessans within city limits continue to push city council to change the ordinance that doesn't allow homeowners within city limits to own chickens in their backyards. Besides providing eggs and fertilizer, some say having chickens is beneficial in more ways than one, like tick prevention and even reducing food waste. They reduce food waste by eating kitchen scraps. And in fact, if just one in every three homes in Odessa had chickens, we could reduce food waste by literally thousands of tons every year and so that's a really big deal to me as well. City Council Member Mark Mata says the council will begin speaking about this issue in the next city council meeting but needs the public to know it's not as easy as just saying chickens can be allowed. Make sure that everything's answered so we can if this does pass we can uh, make sure that it passes and everyone is safe uh, with you know, having chickens in their backyard and that it's not going to become a nuisance to um, to the neighbors and whatnot. So it's just a lot of barriers we have to address. Those in the county and just outside city limits do have the ability to own chickens. And though the possible change wouldn't affect them, they are also pushing for change within the city. I like that there's enough talk about it to get things done and maybe it'll be allowed. I think it should be allowed. I don't, I don't see any reason for it not to be allowed. It's beneficial to everybody. And Mata says the council has seen a major push from the community, bringing a lot of attention to the issue. But this is really what the citizens want, and they feel this is going to make um, their lives better. Then it's definitely something that um, that I'm going to consider, and um, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, most of the council members will also take that into consideration. Mata encourages Odessans to be vocal and present at the next meeting, whether they're for or against the ordinance being changed. That meeting, again, will be next Tuesday right here at City Hall. You can find more information on yourbasin.com. Reporting live in Odessa, Rachel Holland, ABC Big 2 News.